Welcome to Kansas Speedway for the Dynaco 400. The stands are packed and it's a great day for a race. Before we get to the race, I have an announcement. There are two weeks before the All-Star Race, so vote for one rookie of the 2024 season to be part of the 14-car field this Friday, May 17th at North Squirrel Speedway. Link in the description of the video. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Lighton McQueen, last week's winner at Dover Murder Speedway, and Brian Spark. In row two, Daniel Suarez and Master Dragon 4000. In row three, Brandon Powercar trying to not soil his chance of winning and Jading McPillar. In row four, Bubba Wheelhouse and Ace Shea Hollis. In row five, Bobby Swift and Jackson Storm. In row six, Cruz Ramirez and Cal Weathers, the twin identical cars in the field. In row seven, Colin Bargain and Ryan Laney. And row eight, Chase Racelot and Phil Tankson. Here's the race format, 14 laps, 21 miles around the 1.5 mile track, and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car is identical to the one that was shown in the first Cars movie, and here it goes after the pits. 21 miles, 14 laps around Kansas Speedway, and the Dynaco 400 is underway. Like McQueen already charging up to the front. Daniel Suarez dropping with the number 95 Brandon Power car. Also trying to make the pass. And he passes the 019 of Daniel Suarez. Lightning McQueen leads lap one. And we enter lap two. The six of Bubble Wheel House side by side against the number seven of Brandon Power car. Here they come through the back straightaway. Bruce Ramirez passes the number 19 of Bobby Swift. Trouble, turn four. The 42 of Cal Wetters turns to 52 of Brian Spark, and Spark hits the wall a few times, and they bring out the first caution of the day. Let's see what just happened. The 42 of Cal Wetters wrecks the 52 and then the 68 was in the middle of it. The 42 of Cal Wetters slams the wall along with Brian Spark. No damage to the back or the front of the car. So their day isn't over yet. That was an with a Shea Polis. So it proves that the 42 of Cal Wetters wrecks him, and we'll be right back. We'll go back to the Dining Cole 400. We're ready to go back green. The lights are off the pace car. They're about to restart double foul. We have some updates on the, on the other cars, on the cars that were wrecked. So my base Jay Hollis will restart. A, 14th, Brian Spark 15th, and last place is Cal Weathers. So once everybody reaches turn 3, they're going to divide into to two columns. Here they go, dividing up 
into two columns. Light McQueen, first place, second place, Brandon Power Car. We're having some throwback paint schemes next weekend at Darlington, or next week, which is going to be on a Wednesday. Here goes the pace car off to the pits and get ready for the halfway jam just because we've made it to the halfway point of the race. Green flag is back in the air. That is your halfway jam. Right in power car in the lead against the number 95 of Light McQueen. The 6 of Bow Wheelhouse drafting the number 95 along with the 019 Daniel Swervis and the 24 Chase Race a lot. Here comes Bow Wheelhouse trying to make a second lane. Light McQueen trying to pass the number 7. The 019 of Daniel Swervis goes to the inside. There's a ridiculous four wipe out earlier. Now it divides into a single foul because Brian Spark just hit Colin Barkin and JD McPillar. Lightning McQueen takes the lead with five laps to go here at Kansas. Cruz Ramirez looking for another win here because of the last ball she won. The regular season finale was in this last year. Brandon Power Car dropping all the way to the back. That's not looking good for him again. Four laps to go in the race. Cruz Ramirez trying to go against her teammate, Lightning McQueen, and also the team owner. The 21 Ryan Laney trying to pass the 019 of Daniel Suarez, and he does. Here they go to the start finish line with three laps to go here for the Dynaco 400. Lightning McQueen still strong. Let's see if he could hold off, hold off her teammate, hold off his teammate. Sorry. The 21 Ryan Laney looking for another win here in 2024. Two laps to go here for the Dynaco 400. Chase Racelot also trying to join the action. Ryan Laney is a few f inches or feet close to Cruz Ramirez, but not enough, not close enough to reach the number 95 of Lightning McQueen. Here to go for the. Here to go. White flag. One more time around here at Kansas. Ryan Laney trying to pass the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez. Right here, Springs Racing is successful here at Kansas. Already for two races in a row. Last year it was Cruz Ramirez that won here. Now, coming out of turn number four. Lightning McQueen is going to win at Kansas and side-by-side -side battle for second place and it's Cruz Ramirez. Congratulations to Lightning McQueen winning the Dynaco 400 here at Kansas Speedway. A battle for second place? A bit too much, isn't that? Nah. Not too much. And Daniel Swervis is taking another lap. That's strange.
Here are the official results. Chase Race Lot is the fastest car of the day. Next week, we are racing at Darlington Raceway for the Lightyear 400, which is a throwback race starting on Wednesday, May 8th, 3 p.m. Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat Hearn 27, signing out.